Welcome to the Perrysburg Podcast, Episode 8. I'm Kim Newlove, the host. You can find the show notes for this episode at perrysburgpodcast.com. That's perrysburgpodcast.com. If you're new to this podcast, welcome. This is an informational podcast for prospective, new, and current Perrysburg, Ohio residents. Today, we're talking about the Perrysburg Homecoming Festival. When I step up to the mic, sometimes I'm talking to prospective Perrysburg, Ohio residents. This is a great episode for you if you're looking to move here so you understand what is in Perrysburg and why people lived, like to live here. This is one of the things that there is to do here, and it's one of the reasons we like to live here. For new people to town, same thing. If you haven't been to the Homecoming Festival, which used to be called Harrison Rally Day, then I hope you enjoy this year's Homecoming Festival. And for us current residents, people who have been here for a while, we look forward to the Homecoming Festival because, number one, it's a tradition, and number two, it's a great event for our community. So, I hope you enjoy this episode. As I get started, I have to put a plug in for the Perrysburg Messenger Journal newspaper. I have it right in front of me. It is a fantastic publication. It is our local newspaper. If you don't subscribe, go to perrysburg.com and subscribe now. You can get it delivered once a week. It's a once a week publication to your home and also get the digital version for $36 a year. As I publish this in September of 2023, those are the rates. I do not benefit from advertising this. I just want you to know that I get my information from the Perrysburg Messenger Journal, which I call the PMJ. It's a great little newspaper. Now, when I say I get my information from the Perrysburg Messenger Journal newspaper, they have this great little, I guess you could call it a supplement. So there's a little newspaper within the newspaper just about the homecoming festival. If you are looking to move here, and you want to see the supplement, just go ahead and subscribe to the Perrysburg Messenger Journal online. They will send you a digital copy, and you can look at it even after you find this a year from now or six months from now, and you want to find out about it. This is a great little supplement to our local newspaper. Way to go, PMJ. I love it. Now, I'm not compensated in any way for producing the Perrysburg podcast. This is Even though I'm a business owner in Perrysburg, this is my hobby podcast. I come from a place of service, at least for the next few years, where I'm just trying to provide the information that I wish I would have had when I was looking to move here in 2006, when I had just moved here in 2007, and in 2023, now that I'm always looking for what is there to do in this town and why do other people like to live here? So as I move forward and I talk about some of this stuff going on at this festival, this is coming from me just as a Perrysburg resident. I am not trying to plug any businesses, but please know a lot of businesses sponsored this homecoming festival. So their names are in the Perrysburg Messenger Journal. I apologize to all businesses that sponsor this. I won't be mentioning you individually, but thank you from me as a resident. Thank you for sponsoring this festival so it can happen. I love this festival. Also, as a Perrysburg resident, shout out to Tim Anstead for being a leader and helping make this festival happen. I know these types of festivals don't happen unless passionate individuals jump in there and make them happen. So without further ado, let's talk about the festival. The festival runs from 9 a.m. until 3 p.m. The newspaper says 9.30, but I do see that there are activities for children in the Commodore Schoolyard starting at 9 a.m. If you're not from around here and you're coming in town just for the festival, the Commodore Schoolyard is at the corner of Indiana and Louisiana Avenues. It's right across the street from the Way Public Library. There's tons of parking all around town and just find yourself a spot. Now, the parade starts at 10 a.m. The floats, all the people in the parade throw candy, bring a bag, collect some candy. There's some special features in the parade. There is a world champion wrestler named Marcus Blaze and an international twirling champion named Maisie Zapita featured in the parade. Check those folks out. The marching band will be there, a lot of local organizations, 
there's always a great parade, and this is the longest parade in Perrysburg all year. It's usually, by my count, about 40 to 50 minutes long. Watch out for the end. Usually the ambulances are blaring their sirens. <laughs> the kids love it, but I'm, I'm the one putting my fingers in my ears. I love you first responders, but dang, your trucks are loud. Other features of this festival, there will be food trucks, local businesses and restaurants will be opened. Check those out. There is a heritage pavilion. There are historical displays. Thank you to everybody who puts those together. I am from Pemberville originally, so I really enjoy learning about the history of Perrysburg and seeing pictures from what I call yesteryear. You know, pictures of people, homecoming kings and queens and yearbook photos. I don't have those yearbooks, so it's really cool for me to check those out. Also, there's tons of activities downtown. Stuff for the kids like they've got pumpkin decorating, there are inflatables and bouncy houses, face painting, balloon animals, jugglers, chalk art. I'm reading this straight from the paper. PMJ, great job. There's hay rides, kids art stuff going on. There's all kinds of stuff. And there are booths with local businesses, crafters, vendors, and more. You can check all that out between 9.30 and 3 p.m. on Saturday, September 16th. One other thing that I'll mention that I see here in the paper is that Vital Vibes Yoga, apparently it's a yoga studio, will be having their ribbon cutting in their parking lot at 12.30 p.m. during the festival. Congrats! Now, after the festival ends, in the Commodore Schoolyard from 5 to 8 p.m., Perrysburg Schools Alumni Association is having a coming home concert. So check that out if you would like to hear some music. Again, the Commodore Schoolyard is at the corner of Indiana and Louisiana Avenues in historic downtown Perrysburg. I like to make these episodes more like a long voicemail message than a fully produced podcast episode for a major news network. So I hope that gives you an idea of what's going on Saturday, September 16th in historic downtown Perrysburg. Come on over to our homecoming festival. Check out the historic displays, the parade, the music. If you've got kids, sounds like there's tons of activities. Check out the vendors and the tents. Come say hi to me first thing in the morning if you want to meet me. I'll be at the Lutheran Church of the Master's Tent. I go to a little Lutheran church on the east side of Perrysburg. It's at 28744 Simmons Road. Come on out and worship with us any 9 a.m. on Sunday. We'd be glad to have you. All right, that wraps up Episode 8 of the Perrysburg Podcast. Please visit perrysburgpodcast.com to read the show notes. In the show notes, I will put a link to the Perrysburg Messenger Journal newspaper, my church, and anything else that I mentioned in this podcast. All right, please subscribe to or follow the Perrysburg Podcast on your favorite podcast player and YouTube. We're now on YouTube so that you can get each new episode delivered to your smartphone or YouTube each time a new one comes out. Thanks for listening today. Have a great weekend.